Hello, my beautiful Aquariuses. Welcome to your weekly love forecast horoscope for July 22nd to the 28th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. So my darlings, we are gonna be talking about the day-to-day, -day, the love interest feelings, the box delays and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. What's gonna have my Aquarius's romantic love life for July 22nd to the 28th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so we got the, wow, we're starting out with the Magician card energy for the 22nd. So it looks like you guys, you guys already know something is coming in for you, okay? I feel like you guys already know the universe has already been waking at you. See this card, the, the, the person on the card is going like this. So it's like, I feel like you guys already know that you have manifested something, you're about to manifest something here. And it looks like it's gonna happen by the 22nd. Um, there is this hopeful energy and definitely a lot of energy behind this that's gonna be brought into balance. Yeah, but there's a balanced energy here. There is a person that sees you as an ideal partner, okay? There's something of value coming in here. You're gaining knowledge about this situation here and this opportunity, that's also what I feel like. There is something that's about to be revealed here about the situation. It's been hidden though, I feel like also, or kept kept from you also as well for some of you guys, because they weren't really honest about their emotions or their feelings um, in this opportunity, I feel like also. Okay, so let's go further on this. Let's see what's going on here, Aquarius. What's gonna be Aquarius's romantic love life, July 22nd to the 28th. Show me cards that you see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we got, there's this house. So this manifestation, this situation, this ideal situation is gonna happen at this house. There's a stable situation coming in here with the house card energy. Let's get more information about this. What's gonna have my Aquarius's romance love life for July 22nd to the 28th? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Let's layer it on with some Lenormand here. Yeah, we see there is this child for some of you or starting a family for some of you. This decision is being made around stability and stableness. Okay, let's go further on this. What's gonna happen with my Aquarius is romantic love life July 22nd to the 28th? Show me cards to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's see what else is going on here. Yeah, you guys, uh, as I told you guys, know already. We see the spiritual sign coming in here. Okay, so let's go forward to the next day here on the 23rd. It looks like you guys, this person wants your attention. You're having a victory here with the Six of Wands card energy. Yes, luck is on your side. This is a lucky day for you guys. Mm -hmm. You are making the best decision here. Two plus six is seven, eight, okay, nine. Fulfillment of desires, okay, two plus six is seven, eight, okay? And we see putting the worker effort into a creative solution with the three card energy and six talks about healing, recovery, and love. And we see going further here that there is some kind of knowledge being gained here from the situation. You guys, Spiritually, I feel like you guys know. We see there's some spiritual signs. You're getting some kind of knowledge here. Book card energy. Okay, going to the 24th here. Emperor card energy. So we see there's a power move being made here, okay? Because of sad news. They feel really sad about this situation. And it looks like you're going to have a conversation here about family and long-term commitment here. Okay, so... We see the spiritual signs and gaining knowledge about family and long-term commitment here. Okay, going to the bottom of the deck here. There's an argument and fight about family and long-term commitment or a debate going on about it. But then sudden, sudden, suddenly something happens here with the Knight of Swords energy. So going further on this, temperance is saying, okay, I wanna heal this situation. I feel like you're gonna, you're gonna get some you're gonna get some evidence of things coming to light. I feel like you're definitely gonna see a lot of signs on this day. This situation is like, it's gonna go from dark to light or uh, night to day kind of energy. I feel like, um, yeah, there's a sense of fertility here also for some of you guys. There's a, a very attractive energy also. 
And it's like this situation is like, all right, I want to heal this situation. I see that there is a light in the tunnel. There's a, there's a lot of emotions that are going to come up here. Okay, let's go further on this. We see that there's a decision being made here. It's going to be abrupt again. There's this life card energy. And you guys are going to be like, wow, I need to do some deep, heavy soul searching here about this situation. So it looks like um, so far, it looks like uh, you guys have manifested a situation where um, there may have been issues with this particular person about wanting to start a family. It looks like some ideal situation came, came up or an ideal, uh, you guys manifested the situation where this person wants to start a family or there were some issues around family. Now things are being resolved, okay? So going further on this, we see a lot of chemistry and passion, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, and I feel really bad. We see that they're, you know, okay, we know what's going on happening on that day. This is like the Knight of Wands energy, okay? Yeah, so it's like gonna be a very emotional day the day before, but then it's gonna lead into this very passionate situation that's gonna come up on the uh, 26th, passionate exercises, okay? So we see on the 27th, there's some things that are gonna be offered that maybe not accepted about the situation, um, and which could cause an argument or fight here. So be careful about that energy, okay? Yeah, and it's like, I wanna stop, I wanna take a break here, okay. I wanna spend some time alone, okay. Mm. Be careful about that energy on the 27th, okay. Also, let's go forward and look at the uh, blockage here for this week as well. Before we go any further here all right so travel could be part of the blockage for some of you guys somebody's willpower okay somebody's trying to assert a lot of will here it's part of the blockage concerns about desires okay all right let's do the bottom of the deck so again we're seeing this argument or fight it seems like there could be other people involved with the situation um definitely somebody got hurt here definitely feels hurt here um it was something around a commitment here, and we see towards family and abundance. Okay, so going further here on the 28th, you're leaving someone out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles energy, and you're distant yourself from it. Mm, we see that there is this ex-partner or this other person here. Okay, let's bring this all together. Okay, I want to bring this all together and make this clear cut. So you guys are getting some spiritual signs. You're getting some kind of spiritual message. So pay attention to that on the 22nd. And you're getting knowledge about family, family, long-term commitment, and a lot of deep, heavy soul searching that was going on about that situation when it comes to this opportunity. Um, it looks like uh, your person's like, I'm single and available to pursue. And now there's, it there looks like somebody left a relationship to be with you, possibly. Now we see this ex-partner card energy, or there's concerns about some kind of ex-partner here. Okay. Going further here, so we see this this new beginning, this fresh start, and trying to be wise in the decision making. Let's have a conversation. It's a little bit sudden and abrupt. This conversation was sudden and abrupt, um, and we see there's passion actions being taken here, and we see that an ending of distance, an ending of a separation here for some of you guys, or stopping, ending, completing a situation, or if we put those two cards together, it's, it's something passionate in nature, okay? Let's just go further here with this last card. This confusions end, okay? Ending confusions because of a passionate situation. All right, so we see house and family and a victory because of um, and luck is on your side. This person feels really sad. They made a decision because they feel bad about this argument, and uh, you know they're looking at the situation from the long-term basis, and they want to put the work or effort into it. We see that you have everything that I need. I want your attention. I'm making a power move to heal the situation. I have so much chemistry and passion with you. I don't want to miss this opportunity being left out in the cold with Five of Pentacles energy. I don't want to lose this situation. So it's like they don't want to lose you. All right, King of Swords is how they feel about you. We see the Lover's Card energy and we have the Nine of Pentacles. So. Your person sees you as somebody that knows how to, to say the right things, all right, and speak your truth. They see you as a person that they want to have a relationship with, and they feel like you have, um, you're, you have a sense of independence within yourself. 
We see this person wants to heal the situation. They want your attention. They want to spend time with you. Your person feels like there is this want to control the situation because they're cautious and defensive about getting hurt because they feel that you are a very nurturing, supportive energy to them. So coming back to this blockage, we see that there is a lot of desires here and we see a want for a victory, but having to wait here for the right time. It seems like someone's very strongly attached to you, has strong desires, okay, obsessive thinking going on here, which is causing some kind of a, 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 a will, kind of like a fight of wills here because of loss of patience. All right, so let's see the overall outcome here. So we see the Death Card energy. We see the Queen of Cups and we see a decision. So there is this person that you had possibly ended a relationship with or someone ended a relationship with you. And it looks like still there's still some feelings there around this situation, okay? And uh, someone has dug in pretty deep and they still have a lot of feelings for you. And uh, they want to explore that with you. So it looks like you're debating here, uh, what should I do emotionally? And you're kind of going back and forth about your decision because you want to be discerning. It looks like there's something to do with a marriage and a commitment to putting the work or effort in making a power move. This person is missing you and they want a happy outcome with you and you're going to have to make a decision very soon. Your person wants to make an effort towards you because you make them happy and it seems like there's something to do with a lot of passion and chemistry that's coming in because we did see that on the 26th. We see that there's this isolation or separation of the main person that now ends. We see that there is this trying to find a creative solution and getting new perspectives and uh, or not wanting to be naive about this situation, needing to think about this decision. So some of you guys have a choice to make here this week between two people, okay? Um, and uh, it looks like the one is somebody that you had ended a relationship with. It looks like there's some chemistry and passion going on with one of those people and it looks like you're going to have to make a decision here. Um, going further here, we see, yep, intimate time. We see somebody who fulfills your dreams. Okay, wishful thinking here and a lot of thinking contemplating. There's an obsessive energy. We see this shock and surprise about this communication coming in and luck is on your side. So it's a very lucky week for you guys. I feel bad. And we see people involved here and you're gonna have to make the best decision here. All right, my beautiful Aquariuses, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.